Okay, good morning class. So today we're looking at integers and we're looking at the exercise or the examples uh, which is on page 48. Let's make sure we're on the right difference here. The examples are on page 48 and it's for exercise 4. Not so. Right. So today we're looking at division. Exactly the same rule applies to multiplication, applies to division. Namely, positive times positive is? Positive. Negative. Who's giving the wrong answer all the time? Is it you? Is it the one that doesn't want to do maths? You come during second break, my girl, and I'll teach it to you again. Oh, so, but now you're shouting out the wrong thing twice. It was an accident, sir. Don't lie to me. It was I might look like a fool, but don't take me for a fool, mate. Okay? I hope it was truly an accident. Okay, so, like positive times positive is positive, positive divided by positive is positive. Negative times a negative is a positive. Negative divided by negative is a positive. Negative times a positive is negative. Negative divided by a positive is negative. And positive divided by negative is negative. So the rule that applies to multiplication applies to division as well. Okay. So now we're going to look at the example. And the example is on page uh, 48 as stipulated here already. So let's look at example 1. So here we have negative divided by negative is positive. Three going to three once, three going to six twice. So the answer is positive two. What gets this right? Two. Negative divided by positive is negative. Twenty divided by five is four. You all agree with that? Now if there's no sign in front of the fourteen, what is the sign? Positive. And positive divided by negative is negative. Two goes into fourteen. 7 times. 2 goes into 16? 8 times. So it's 7 over 8. Did you get the number 4? Then 8 is positive. So positive divided by negative is? Negative. 4 going to 4 once. 4 going to 8? Twice. So it's A. 3 minus 1 is? 2. Can you see this is over 1 here? Can you see that people? So negative 2 A squared. If the negative 2 if the 2a squared was in the denominator, then I would have written it as 1 over 2a squared. You guys understand? Because if we just write 2, that is the same as 2 over 1. However, 1 over 2 is never equal to 2. You all agree with that? Likewise, um, x is the same as one, um, x over 1. However, 1 over x is never equal to x. Okay. You want, you can make that note there. We said here, divide coefficients, but subtract the exponents or indices of the same basis. Remember, we did that ruling? Exponents or indices chapter, the previous chapter. Do you all agree with that? Is there any confusion thus far? Okay. Let's look at number five. So number 5 was negative divided by negative? Positive. positive. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 16, and to 18? 6 times. So it's 6 over 1. What will happen to A over A? Cancel. It's the same. And then there's a 1 on that B. So it will be B squared. So 6B squared over 1 is? 6B squared. Is there any confusion? The full lesson can be found in the description box below. Okay. As these the videos only deals with examples to the exercise. Alright, number 16. If there's no sign on the 4, the sign is? Positive. What's negative divided by positive? Negative. 4 going to 4 once, 4 going to 16? 4 times. So it's 4. Where's the more A's? Numerator on top. 
So 5 minus 2 is 3. B. 12 minus 1 is 11. So we know that's over 1. So it's negative 4 A cubed over uh, B. The next one B. Do I have to write in the middle set there? No. We don't have to. Okay. Let's look at number 7. What's positive divided by negative? What number goes into 15 and to 20 without the remainder? 5. 5 goes into 15 3 times and to 20 4 times. It's 3 over. Where's the more A's? On top. So it's 3 minus 1 is 2. Where's the more B's? Bottom. So 3 minus 1 is? So it's negative 3 A squared over 4 B squared. You all understand? Okay. Next. What's negative divided by negative? Positive. Positive. Now 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 32? Four. 4 times. So it's 1 over 4. Can you see that? Yes. Now it's important to write the fraction. Now we have to. Okay. Where's the four x's? The denominator. So it's going to be 2 minus 1. What's 2 minus 1? 1. Okay, do I need to write that 1 there? No. No. Okay. Where's the more y's? Also at the bottom. So, 5 minus 3 is? 2. Okay. Can I write it without the 1D? No. no. Okay. A note very important here. There are more B's below the line in the denominator. As you can see, was the case in number 7. Okay, that is why I write it in the denominator. For those of you who are still a bit confused, if I look at b over b cubed, that's going to be b over b times b times b. And that b over b is 1. So it's 1 over bb, which is 1 over b squared. Okay, you guys understand? But I'm not going to go through that scenario there, because I, I know I can just subtract this from it. Okay. Is there any confusion, any questions at this point? No? Not yet? Well, let's look at number 9. Oops. Let's take this up a bit. Alright. So number 9, what do we need to do first? Do the brackets, I was told, no? Do the brackets. So, negative to an even exponent will always be positive. So it's positive. 2 to the exponent 4? 16. 16. X to the exponent? 12. Over negative 16x. Remember what's positive divided by negative? Negative. What happens to the 16? Cancels. There's no um, exponent on the x, so there's a? That so will be x. 12 minus 1 is? 11. Okay, let's look at number 10. What needs to be done first? The brackets. Negative to an odd exponent. Negative. 2 cubed? 8. X. But 3 times 2? 6. Over. Negative to an even exponent will always be? Positive. 2 to the 2 is? 4. X squared. Okay. What is positive divided by negative? Negative. 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 8, twice. So it's 2, x, 4, over 1, which is negative 2, x, 4. You all agree with that? Can I, in number 11, can I add or subtract 10a minus 8b? No. Why not? Unlike them. So what do I do? I write each one over its own. So 10a over negative 2, negative 8b over negative 2. What's positive divided by negative? Negative. 2 going into 1, 2 going into 10? 5 times. So it's negative 5a. What's negative divided by negative? Positive. 2 going into 1, 2 going into 8? 4 times. So it's 4. Divide negative 2 into both terms above the line. Into the new, exactly what I just did. Okay. Will you guys understand? I can only break this up here if there's a monomer and if it's one term in the denominator. Okay, if there's two terms, something else happens. But for grade 8, 
They will only give you a mauna um nyo. Okay? For something that you simply find to a mauna um nyo. Okay? In one term. People, let's look at number 12. In number 12, we are given 12x squared y5 minus 18x to the exponent 4, y to the exponent 3. People can let me subtract. No, why not? Unlike that. Okay, so what do I do? What do I do? Put each one over it. It's over. So we got 12x squared y5 over negative 6xy cubed minus 18x4y cubed over negative 6xy cubed. Somebody asked me earlier when you in teachers in the exam. And I said, no. Sorry, man. My mistake. It is in the exam. How can it not be in the exam? Sorry, it's in the exam. No? You have a date? Imagine you had to go right to Amphis. <laughs> Okay, my mistake, sorry. What? People, what's positive divided right by negative? Okay. Did not put it in the scope, integers. Just check the scope quickly. Somebody? It should be. Now, I know we will be simply going to do rational numbers, which is dealing with more fractions, but, but we cut that out. There are no integers. He's asking, where's the scope? Is that what you're asking? Where's the scope? It's in the maths group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Titi? Where's she at? Where's Is it there? You're still looking. Is it so far? Is it in the scope? I see that you must... So she had to say, okay, I'll put it now in your new book. Yeah, you cross it. Okay, so let's go. Positive divided by negative? Negative. negative. Six squared is six one. Six squared is twelve? Twice. X squared over x? X. More y's on top, so it's y squared. Negative divided by negative? Positive. Six squared is six one. Six squared is eighteen? Three times. X four over x is going to be x? Cubed. Y cube cancels Y. Do you agree with that? Yes. People, let's look at number 13. Then this is how you're supposed to be doing it. No one below, um, below each other. So it's going to be 15A squared B5 over negative 5A squared B. Minus 20A5BC squared over negative 5A squared B. Plus 5A squared B over negative 5A squared B. Okay. I just came from a break, my girl. Make with me. Okay. Who wants negative, positive divided by negative? Negative. Negative. 5 into 5 once, 5 into 15, 3 times. The A squared is cancelled. And you will be left with B to the exponent? 4. four. So it's 3, B, 4. What's negative divided by negative? Positive. positive. 5 into 5 once, 5 into 20, 4 times. 5 minus th th 2 is 3. So it's 4a, 3. The b's are the same. There's no c's at the bottom. So it remains on top as c's away. Right, you guys understand? The next one, what's positive divided by negative? Negative. 5 into 5 once, 5 into 5. a squared cancels a squared, b cancels. So the answer is? Who do you guys understand? I can't help that these sums are so easy. Not difficult either. Okay. 
Did you get number 40? Okay. So what do we do here? Each one of its own. That's so? Again, it's going to be negative 12a4 over negative 3a cubed. Plus 5a5, 3a5. Over negative 3a cubed. Minus 15a squared over negative 3a cubed. People, what's negative divided by negative? Positive. 3 going to 3 once, 3 going to 12? Four times. 4 minus 3 is? 1. So it's going to be? 4a. What's positive divided by negative? Negative. That cancels. That's 5 minus 3. 2. So it's a squared. What's positive negative divided by negative? Positive. 3 going to 3 minus 3 going to 15? 5 times. And where is it more a's? Denominator. So it will be a. Okay. So tomorrow we look at, at uh, some subtraction and some substitution in tomorrow's lesson. Right? So I'll stop the video at this point.